Hi, I'm Real Generic Demon, and this is yet another Zombie Survivors. Okay, so Zombie Survivors, this is a bit of a play on words actually, because they did do a previous game called Zombie Survivors, or another Zombie Survivors. Can't remember exactly what the title was called, but anyway, they 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 they've done a previous game. This company, but this, although in early access and it's been in early access for quite a while now, is actually a really really good survivors like game. Um, it's worth it's worth it's worth playing. It's a lot of fun. Um, and and it's actually one of the games that I go back to on a regular basis. I quite like it. Um, it has a simple sort of upgrade system that works via using money. Um, like you see it over here. Um. You sort of can buy additional items as you go along. It's got I've got a lot of points to spend because it's just has been updated recently so that it includes the, the SWAT with specific things to SWAT, specific things to tank, specific things for engineers, huntress, ghost, pyro, and all these other characters that play within the game. So I've unlocked I think almost all of them. I don't think I've unlocked have I not unlocked the ghost? There's maybe one that I haven't unlocked. So you can have team bonuses, which you can use points for. Um, so, so we, for instance, we've got movement speed. So we'll have one of them. We'll have some health points. Um, there's one for armor. Is there one for dodge? Yeah, they're dodge. Really useful, that one. We'll have some dodge points. Uh, we'll have some uh, additional ones of those for increased health points. What we got here? Increase the maximum number of of items per run permanently unlocked always unlocked right so these have been done already by me military training permanently done so what we've got in the SWAT front here what we got here speed and cooldown more magazines yeah let's go for that let's go for a bit of this let's get a bit more cooldown going on him yeah perfect I've all unlocked all of these previously I do like the assault rifle I'll be I'll be honest it is a great weapon once you get to that level of assault, assault rifle um, I also like the tank He's got a number of great weapons with him, especially when you get up here to his minigun, which is brilliant. And do we have just tank points? Is that going down? I think it's going down for both. Yeah. No, no. Specifically for each one. Has got points. Brill. So we can spend some more points on these things. Let's power up some of these things. Let's improve the trails on those. Let's improve this one, which allows more activation of the of the rico ricochet, which are really good and useful. Um, what's this? Pyro helicopter leaves a trail of fire in its path. Oh! So if you got them with you, you get extra things. EMP grenades in their, their path. More cash modifiers. Yes, definitely. More kinetic damage. Yes, please. To unlock two final ev ev evolutions. Yes. I haven't got enough points for it. I would like to have done that. Can't unlock it. I haven't got enough points at the moment. So they evolve like they do in the Survivors uh, Vampire Survivors games. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start because rather than sitting letting you watch that we do that, let's have a little let's have a little play. So we can choose our characters as we'll, as we go along. We need a leader leader that will start the sort of level. So I'm gonna choose the the SWAT because I really do like the SWAT. I've already opened up a couple of cities. You can see there green. Well, um, isolated city is quite good, so we'll do that one. But we've got Green Hill. I haven't finished that one ever. Oh, yeah, I've got a victory on that one. Got two victories on, on Wasteland, and I've got six victories on the, the Isolate City, because I quite like the Isolate City, I'll be honest. There's an endless mode, there's a hardcore mode. I haven't finished the hardcore mode, so we'll give that a try. Uh, choose badges. Do I have any badges? To, oh, we can. There we go. Oh, there, that's a new interesting level of it. And I'll start with level one on it. Horde damage, normal, 100%. Start game. This is a 10-minute survival, effectively. Anything over 10 minutes... Well, 10 minutes is all you need to survive to, to, to achieve... Uh, sort of an unlock and a win of this one. It's a, As I say, it's very much Vampire Survivors, but without... Uh, Vampire Survivors, I don't think, has these sort of weird sort of additional... Um, modes that you go with it but once you start what you do is you build a little team which is the nice bit about this so it's very simple it just shoots and he shoots and as you level up he improves his weapons as he goes along which is really good and um, so we've got a little a little guy here and we've got money on the side of the screen we've got damage that we've done number of kills so far and it's gonna take a little bit more damage than usual to kill these because they're they're 
and it also shoots the direction you go. Uh, we've got military training badge there that went into board, on board. Every time you get three or four of those, you get an option of a, a, an additional military training. And it's, the, the, the numbers are starting, the horde is starting to build, so it's time to start moving. It's zombies, and I love zombies. You can't beat a bit of zombie action. Um, and it's and it's just hordes and hordes of zombies. We're not, as I say, we're on hardcore, so this is not the easiest of ways of doing things, but, but we'll, we'll do it. Hopefully we can survive the ten minutes. I'm trying to get my first level up here. There we go. Come on. There we go. Right, so I'm going to go with... You can got the re-rolls to see something else. Um, I'm going to go with... I think we're going to go with the activation chance, the ricochets, because the ricochets basically ricochet from one person to another, so it just does more damage. So, so there's a good chance that I can, I can do a little bit more, a little bit more damage faster, ricocheting between the, the two people. And we're just running around the level. This level's pretty empty. It's just a big square. There's walls on the side, so you can't get out of the arena here. But as I say, it's it's one of the games that's really grabbed me because it's simple. The game loop is is good. It's really good, actually. Um, it's just simple. Um, and no, and who doesn't like killing zombies? Let's be honest. These are more. These are the faster ones coming now. And they started to do damage. The circle of health that's at the top of the screen are also wrapped around you as a circle. And there's a nice rock track to go with it all. You can probably hear that. You need to get some of these. You need to get some of these people, though. As much as I'm doing this, I need to get some. I know. I know that I need to level up. So sort of circle around the level, trying not st to stand still at any point. Let's see if we can level up something else. Let's level up our handgun. Makes sense. Let's do more damage. That's better. And and you can see now there's an arrow, the yellow arrow at the bottom. That means we've unlocked the point where we can start getting what's known as crates. Which are basically parachuted in with additional bonuses within them. Gee, crumbs. That's hard work. Let's get in the middle, out through the middle of this. Let's go, go, go. And there's something else as well over here. There's a green one. That's a survivor. We just got a survivor on the survivor. Long enough that we can open somebody up. And I'm going to go with the medic because they have, they can, they can heal us and they also give us some more health. So we're going with the medic, and the medic has also got. What they've got, new experimental throwing substances, a medical drone that flies around deploying health or healing, I think. Let's do that. And the medical drone. Go, go, go. Ooh, it's bad. I know, I knew it was going to get bad, but, but I didn't realise it was going to get this bad so fast. Uh, let's go with more side arm for her. And her medic, the medic. There's the, the ch chest over there. We're going towards it. Oh, and a first boss. Mini boss, should I say. Just flying across there. They've got, they've got a movement pattern that they demonstrate. Okay, look what we've got here. Uh, magnet powers up collecting military things and other power-ups. That might be useful. Let's give that one a go. Chance to explode a fire. There's all kinds of bonuses for opening chests. I like this because it, it builds the character very quickly. Um, she needs to do more with a medical drone. Let her deploy attack, moving or healing while holding position. So, so, so we may get some healing from that from holding position. I think we need to get. I think we need to get this turret out as well. Get some more, 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 more firepower. We're running short of health. Our health's really low. It's going up slowly, but we need more. Uh, let's get the helicopter strike in. We're running the helicopter strike because it'll protect us. And we need more. Let's get some grenades in here. Oh, regeneration of health. Yes, please. A rare addition. Our health is regenerating very slowly. Every one second it regenerates. But it is regenerating. That's the key thing. And we're dead. 
and it's all over. That was really quick. I'll give you. A, what I'll do is I'll do a quick standard one as well because I'll show you the just the standard um, bits and pieces, get achievements, and obviously it's unlocking more for the characters as you go along and improving their their abilities. So so you can do more in the training, which is back to this uh, original sort of. Uh, great big flow chart of exciting things, which I haven't really used because we've got we've got we've got various bits and pieces. It do, really does make a big difference. So we can increase damage to weapons. Uh, what else have we got here? It's down here. This one, this big one here. Uh, special modifiers to increase uh, um, what is it? Points gained by the survivors. Yeah, we can have some of that. Let's have a let's have some more health. Is there, a, is there a regeneration of health here somewhere? Increased health. Critical hits improve that as well. Let's max out a few of these. Increased chance of making a critical hit. Yes, please. A decreased chance of abilities. Yes, please. Let's improve the magnet so that you can suck in the stuff quickly. More money. Yep, that's a good idea. Better modifiers. Yes, please. More offensive abilities. Yes, please. Primary damage. Yep. More shields. One well, bit of everything here. Durations. As you can see, they've changed a lot of these settings since I was last played, so we'll increase some of these. Oh, increase duration. Yes, please. Those are brilliant ones. Uh, let's look at the SWAT guy. Let's see if we can do something with him. He's got one point spare that we can use. We got one that we can use on anybody. It's a two point one. No, we haven't got anything extra for him. Let's have a look at the the medic. Let's see if we can do, do some add some stuff in here. Let's get this sorted for her, maxed out. Let's get this one maxed out as well. The new ev evolutions. Uh, nothing else on there. Let's get the tank done because I suspect we're going to try the tank again in a second if we can. So let's get some more on him. This one gives him unleashing his fury. What we got here? Tough badge. Yeah, we'll take that. We need a badge. And improved. Increased health generation. Yes, please. Anything else we can buy here? Yeah, we can have that tough badge there. That's cool. Engineer. He's got lots of stuff. We nearly need to get into some of these things, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back now. Um, to the to the main level, and we're just going to do a simple one. So we'll choose we'll choose to be our SWAT guy again because he's pretty good. Um, we'll choose the wasteland as a different place, so you can see a different scenario. And we'll just play the default, all right? And we'll see what happens. You've got to beat 20 minutes basically. That's my best time for endless at the bottom. 21 minutes. And I've never finished hard hardcore. There's some these are a lot hard. Look, hardcore mode in the in, you know, in the wasteland. You only have to require you've got to require 20 waves on that. Five minutes in that one hit. One hit and you're dead. Okay, let's do the default. Okay, let's add a few more badges because we've got more space. So if we can add that one in. And add that one in. That's cool. Difficulty level. I haven't unlocked anything at all because um, it's, it's, as I say, the game has slightly changed. It's still in early access. so But it's, as I say, one of these games I keep going back to. I've got sort of 20 plus hours. It's a desert this time around at night, of course. Uh, daytime comes and we're, we're good to go. But there's a, you can notice a significant difference already. The, the, you know, before I was sort of already backing off from the, uh, the, 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 the the various creatures. This time I'm not. It's not always zombies. They're sometimes changed to, to other weird and wonderful things. There's spiders on this level. I feel it probably came from an asset pack, um, the whole thing. But but I'll, I'll, I, I don't care. It's good. It's good fun. It's a lot of fun, in fact. Let's upgrade my pistol. There's some more money that helps towards our training. Speed, super speed, more pistol, please. Let's get this pistol upgraded fully. I think it's level four. It gets to it, and you get the option of a, a, a submachine gun, which is always good. And there's a spider right in front of us. So it's a zombie fight, uh, sorry, a mummified spider. And let's get that to level four. Boom. We will get the option of a, of a submachine gun shortly. There we 
go. Get all of those zombies. And I'm going to go for the re-roll because I, I really want to see if I can get some, some machine gun. There it is. Perfect. Watch this. Massive change in, 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 in what's going on. There's a worm about to play up here under me. Watch. Oh, see that? You bosses. I can see a green marker on the screen, which means that I have now the opportunity to grab a another survivor to help me with the with the with the task of killing zombies. So let's go help get that survivor. You can release them. There's achievements for not uh, not releasing them, um, like many games. Some decent number of achievements on this game. I'm going for it. Just need to get to them. They're right there amongst all this lot. I'm going to have to risk a bit of death. Um, more SMG, and I can't do it because that worm's going to pop up in the middle of it all. Let's get some health then. Let's get this. Let's get some ricochet going. Okay, let's see what we got here. Two military training upgrades, and now at least rare quality. Ooh, yes, definitely. And two of them are at least two of them are what we got. Damage stability increased. Kevlar armor, uh, movement speed. Rapid fire weapon. I'm going to go with move some speed because it's a really important one. Because being able to avoid this little lot, as little space as there is in the level, is really important. And I'm going to go with the SMG. And I'm going to go with. Um, I think I'm going to go with Pyro. He's got. He's, he's, he's um, a, a damaged firefighter who has an axe to begin with, but later becomes gets a flamethrower. So it's uh, slow progress to begin with, but but builds up as it goes. Um, the, the thing about the the, the characters like the um, uh, oh, no pain, no gain. Definitely, he basically gets an increased pain tolerance. The thing about the um, characters like Pyro and the tank is that they take a little while to build up their equipment, but once they get there, they get things like miniguns and flamethrowers and really destructive and damaging equipment, whereas things like the the, the SWAT and, say, the, the Medic, they get um, a, a good early start with weapons, um, and SWAT does tend to keep them throughout the whole thing. See how we're going up here. So I'm going to upgrade his, his Fire Axe because I want to kind of get him him going basically there's a kill frenzy with the star so we're we're on full speed ahead here and of course he won't he's a melee character so he has to swing when he's close but they slowly build up to very very powerful uh, uh sort of uh, characters that that, that that have lots of um you know damage later on swat of course is a very balanced sort of character he's he's all damage all the time um, but 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 it's he's quite a good start in character. Problem is if you try to do the, uh, the the leader bonuses, which is by basically playing as the leaders um, to try and get those bonuses up, you you kind of realise that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to teach them all how to be um, decent characters. So you have to, you have to learn how they're all gonna play. So fire axe here. Yes, we want that. Do, it does a lot of damage when he's doing it. Um, let's get his fire axe to level four. There's another military one. I need one of them. Looking for that green green thing to say another survivor's appeared. They haven't yet. And here he goes. He's onto his blowtorch now, if you look along here. Everything has a stat that you can read. It's fantastic. That's one of my favourite things about this. It's just a lot of fun. You're just running, dodging, choosing and making the best options you can. Uh, skipping rope. Uh, every two points you get modifier. Alright, okay. Nuts and bolts gives you the ability to activate. Kinetic. Magnet spawns. Pa magnetic power-up spawn more often. So magnetic power-ups allow you to suck in everything around about. I think I'm going to go with this. Okay. Gain points from every use of skip function. Ah, right, skip at the bottom, down the bottom. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, nuts and bolts, gift in activation. Reduce cooldown to half. Yeah, go on, let's do that. See, now he's got a flamethrower, so we've got a little bit of range damage from him. Or a blow, blow torch, should I say. So we've got range damage from him. Increasing damage as we go along. Very, very useful. A lot more, a lot more. A lot more useful as he as he as he gets his as he gets more and more powerful. 
Um, I'm going to go with more Molotov cocktails. We've got nothing more, more better than a bit of fire. There's another military one over here. I can see it on the screen. And there's a fen Frenzy. We'll take that. There's the military one right there. Uh, fast mover. Reduced weapon cooldown damage. I think I'm going to go with fast mover again. I know that's ridiculous, but we want, I want to go fast on the level so I can outrun all of this and not be in too much damage when I do. Uh, danger when I go through them all. Power it through. Uh, next SMG, please. And then we we'll should be able to get his his next level of weapon. Sugar, come on! There's a boss there beside me. See him? It's like an axe man. He's there. Killing them gives you obviously bigger bonuses, but uh, obviously that they're, they're, they're also difficult to kill. There's another one. We're getting a few of these now. Yeah, surrounding me there. Let's get this more blowtorch action. You never know. There's another military one. I don't know whether they've reduced the number of survivors you get in this game, because previously you had you could have three together. That's what I want, the assault rifle. Big difference now. And I love the sound effects on this. I think the sound effects are good. I think the music, uh, the, 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 it's, it's loud and aggressive. And it's it's sort of, you know, they're the, the right for the levels as well. It's really good. I've really enjoyed playing this one. This has been a game that I've, I've absolutely loved. Because it's a lot of fun. And you can just pick it up and play it. There's a little survivor that says, Green, SOS signal detected. They're obviously holding that off a lot longer than they previously did for the survivors. So now we, we've got a survivor here. Who do we want? I think I want the tank. Or do I want the Huntress? No, I've got the tank. We'll take the tank. Liberating them gives you an extra level. You can only have three survivors with you at any one time. Let's add. Let's do a quick reroll. And see whether we can get something better for him. No, that's release the fury. Reroll again. Upgrade his shotgun. Yes, please. I want him to be more efficient with his shotgun because as I say he gets a minigun later which is absolutely brilliant um, for, for, for when you're playing the game let's see what we've got here uh, attacks uh, full enemy uh, critical damage to the weapons yeah cool uh, weapon attacks on full health enemies are now critical oh wow yeah there's vampire survivor of course that's a laugh um, chance to restore health Double its value. Killing boss activates frenzy. No, that's the one. Scouter. Every boss that you're going to hit is going to get hit when they've got full energy as a as a critical. You can't beat that. Now I feel like we're actually on the offense rather than the other way around. Uh, let's get more blowtorch action from him. And I think there's another... Yep, there it is. Evasive maneuvers. Chance to dodge. Critical ability. Let's get evasive maneuvers. Dodges actually are quite good. They've reduced some of the things spawning on the level as quickly. I've noticed there's a change from the previous version where you don't get as many sort of frenzied attacks. But I tell you what, I'm enjoying the changes. I think they're good. It's very. It's still. Uh, the action is still fast and still frenetic. And look at this. We've got zombie we've got we've got mummies now. More mummies. Okay, let's get some more. Let's do some more let's do let's do some more no, well actually tell you what, we'll do a minefield. Let's go do some more Molotov cocktails, but we'll do a minefield instead. So he drops that on the floor if they walk over it, of course they get damaged for full 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 damage. There's a U I've just picked up, so everything's getting sucked towards me. Let's get his shotgun upgraded. Uh, let's get his assault rifle upgraded. Or oh, blowtorch, in fact. There's some another another to point me towards things. I like the way it puts it on the edge of the screen, where 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 the uh, military training and other things are. Also puts the bosses on there. Also puts the health there when you're when you when you're running low now. I'm actually kind of running towards them now because 
I'm a lot more powerful, but of course on 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 the normal or default, I'd expect that. The power of it all, all the weapons firing on the left and right hand side. You can see it all going off there and then. Let's have let's unleash the fury. Look at that, more damage. Let's unleash the fury. Let's become furious. Yeah, we'll unleash that fury. He's in furious mode now. Doing a lot more damage. There we go. That's another there's another kill streak. Let's make us just extremely dangerous. For a second or two. There's a yellow uh, marker to my left there. That's on the crate. Let's go get this. Let's open this one. Teddy bear, 50% banish. Uh, ability ability tax uh, on filler now critical. Yep, we can do even more damage. Yeah, let's do that. Got some scarab beetles there. Oh, here we go. If Fermax, uh, he's got a, he's got a, he's got he's got a new slashing weapon. Let's give that a whirl. Wow, look at that for a swing. Whoa. As I said before, higher levels of these characters, the much more dangerous they become. Much, much, much more dangerous. And then because they're much more dangerous, it's much more fun watching them sort of destroy everything on the level. Just walking through it all like it was standing still, sort of, you know, easy enough to kill. Let's get even more power on that thing, I think. Let's max it out. And that's why I like playing Endless as well. You can max out some of these abilities. It's really nice to see the to, the ultimate evolutions of them. I did want to do a whole series of uh, um, Survivors-like games because these these are one of my favourite things to play. I do love them. I think they, I, they, there are many of them that I really enjoy. Uh, let's do the trail. That's because I can't, by the way, I can't do anything other than Accept the level up now that they've no, there's no more survivors. He's rescuing them all. They aren't joining the party, the fray. Party, part, a part of the, uh, the, 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 the monstrous looting of the world. I'm looking for more add-ons here. Part of it all. Fury. Oh, let's have some more Molotov cocktails, I think. You can never beat a few Molotov cocktails, can you? Throw those at the get bad guys. There we go. There's another another crate now appeared over on the on the left hand side again. So let's go for it. Another another one of these. Wow. Legendary. Ability damage plus forty percent. We'll have that. Which survivor receives the full bonus? Of course, this one. It has to be him. Because he's the one that's most powered up, to be fair. Oh. First re roll of each power up section is guaranteed to be free. Wow. Okay. Uh, cash bar bar bonifier. A cup, cup of coffee. Defeating an elite. Yes, definitely. When we defeat an elite, we might as well have the, the bonuses. I say, so good. Such good combinations. Just a lot of fun. Um, if you like, sort of, as I say, if you like this kind of game where they build up nicely, this is actually not a bad game at all. It's really, It really is fun. I don't think it's a really expensive one either. I think it's quite inexpensive, realistically. Uh, more assault rifle, please. I can see it over the side there. There's another. There's another one of these. Military training. We're all on. We're on high power shooting now. We've got our. We've got our. We've got our kill frenzy on. 
Let's get some more shotguns for him. Because he'll get his pump action, his next shotgun in a minute. Oh, lucky there, not to get hurt by that at all. Cash, of course, is for training. Because remember, we're mercenaries at the end of the day. There we go. More bonuses. And let's just pump action. Let's get that on him. More power. As I said before, the, the, they, the, they're slow builders. But, but they certainly have got the power once they actually get built. Slow, but worth it. Definitely. Perfect. Brilliant. Look at it go. More. More things here. Increased pickup pick up range. Yes, I think we're going to go with that. Electric, electric, uh, 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 electric personality. Oh, another 40% pickup range. Let's go with that. I know that's madness, but it does mean that we're, we don't have to be so close to stuff to get it. As we sweep round here. Uh, let's get the ricochet done because he's got the extra bonus, doesn't he? Here we go. Sweeping round, sweeping round, sweeping round. There's a U over here. It's got it on the bottom, on the right hand side of the screen. There's a U, which means you're gonna collect everything within range. Let's get this upgraded his weapon. Let's get his no pain, no gain upgraded. Even more speed for us. We can move even faster. SOS signal detected. Let's go. Let's save some more survivors. We've still got plenty of time. We've got eight minutes to survive. We're just absolutely we're walking it now. We're walking it now. It's it's not we're not we're not having any issues at all. And these guys are, are not really giving us the, the grief that they were previously. Some explode, of course, in 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 in, uh, in, in hails of of bullets of sort of uh, hails of sort of gaseous smokes that damage your characters. But but uh, well, that's not worrying us. This team's not being worried by that. That was a little bit damaged there. We took a took a few hits, but it's not going to be enough to to, to 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 dull us. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to do a reroll. See if I can get something better for the guy but in the middle. Can't. I'm going to go with his ultimate Molotov. It's level four and it's done. It's reducing the number of options the game can give me for lots as, as we go. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ploughing through them, not the other way around now at this point. There's some cash. Yeah, that's a big boy. That's a, that's a big boy down. There's another big boy down. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this shotgun increased because I know where it's going to. Oh, the controller's shaking away while I'm playing. Literally, only two, the, only the the what the uh, the the, the uh, uh, left hand stick involved in this, and the and, and the A button to select what I want. Play play it with a mouse and keyboard. I don't think you can change it, so you it, it ain't you it, you can aim for it. But to be fair, look how fast it is. You probably don't want to. I'll be honest, you probably don't want to. Potato has a hundred percent chance of becoming instead of whatever else is. That's changed the potato a lot. I feel like I want to do that. When you get hit, you deal uh, explosive damage and push back the enemies. Uh, now nah, I'm going to go with the, the annoying trumpet. So if I get hit, it'll go... And then um, they'll get exploded. There we go. We've got another one of these. Let's go with more... Attack speed or health? Let's go with attack speed because we're doing pretty good. Oh right, it's so got to choose somebody for this. Weapon attack speed. Let's give it to the tank because I think he's going to need that later. Okay, let's boost his weapon. I think the assault rifle is fully maxed out at this point, realistically. 
another military one. Great. Health running away. Still plenty of time. Six, six minutes. Loads of damage going on. Oh, it's great. Right, okay. My assault rifle there. Let's get that to the top. Can't go wrong with the top top of the range assault rifle. I really want to get the uh, the the the, the my, my man here sorted out. The one with the tank, the one with the shotgun. Because as I say, he gets he gets some really good things, including the minigun. That's one of his options. I love the way it shows the hearts. By the way, look at that kinetic damage. Brilliant. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him. Let's get one of these other things boosted up. Let's get the ricochet done. I'm literally just just murdering them out. I'm cool with this. We're 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 we There's nothing that's hurting us now. We we. I can go with them. Watch. And I don't worry. Apart from the worm thing, which is really hard to kill. But I am. I I can run at them at this point. Apart from obviously that. Did you hear the annoying horn there? It went brr brr. And here we go. What have we got? Toxify. A large, greater number of people with chemical damage. Bleeds. Ooh, slashing type weapons. Some good stuff on here. Some freezing, pocket rot, watch. Plus time for the for those. I think we'll go with slashing because we've got a guy who slashes. So he's slashing damage now as well. That would be nice. There we go. <laughs> the annoying arm going off. There's a health. There's a health up here. Oh, yes. Oh, he's got the rocket launcher available to him. I'm not sure I want the rocket launcher. Let's go with this one. And then we'll see if we can get the next time round. I don't sure I want the rocket launcher, you see. Uh, area ability. Cooldown area ability. Let's go with the area ability. Let's give it to him. Make it bigger. So he can do more area damage. There it is. The minigun. We're on it. Minigun it is. Stone skin, of course. Now in invincible for a little bit. Look at this. We have a man with a minigun. As I said before, slow starter. Good finisher as a character. Same with the pyro guy. He really does make massive differences once once he's been uh, once he's been sort of powered up. Um, and some health. Ah, health going low. Ah. Oh, it's getting bad. Let's get the, the blades around me. Well, let's get uh, some more mini good action. Oh, I need some health. The pyro's going mad with his spinning. It's almost every set, sort of second he's spinning around now and attacking everything within range. It's 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 great to see that amount of damage going on right let's keep going we got we got a lot of speed actually that's a big that's a big bonus I did go with speed I did say this is a, a major factor in the game is to stay ahead of the the creatures that are in it so so if we can keep staying ahead of them we'll, we'll be we'll, we'll do okay we'll just keep ahead of them all right now just move moving up a little bit Moving towards the top corner, I'm probably blocking myself in here and making a mistake, but we're going for it anyway. Uh, let's get this minigun turret out. Auto turret, turret. He drops a turret on the floor, basically. There's a spinning drone of, of soreness going around. Soreness, it's not soreness, but you know what I mean. There's a spinning, spinning thing. Uh, I'm looking down at that yellow thing at the bottom of the screen. The, 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 the tag, just for the items. There's another crate here somewhere. Let's add some more 
Let's add a, 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 a helicopter strike to the whole thing. Let's pick this up quickly. Uh, cash modifier. Parry drops crates. Uh, yeah, let's go with. Uh, oh, I've got to choose change change one. No, I don't want to. I don't want any of those. Skip. So you've got a limited number of them. You used to be able to collect them all en masse. So so you now got a limited number of them. That's a shame. But at the same time, I understand that completely. It means that you can't just kind of overpower the game with so many additional uh, sort of things that the game is overpowered. I've got two minutes to last. At the top of the screen, this is the time. It says 18 minutes. We have not... We've got time... We've got only a few little bit of time to last. Let's get more armor, I think, at this point. I think that we probably need that more than we need speed. Um, let's upgrade his minigun. Doing more damage is probably better for us. In the long run, there is some health somewhere around here. Wow, look at it all going. It's madness on the screen. Points everywhere. I love to see the points as well. I love to see the damage that's being inflicted. Um, let's get that minigun maxed out. Let's get some health. 200 health. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. We're looking good. One minute to go. Minute almost a minute to go, sorry, minute nineteen. Yeah, it's good this. You stuck to the end, I'm pleased to see you stayed. Thank you for watching. I do think it's a great game. I think I think I think if you fancy a, a game with a bit of fun um, involved in it, this is this is a game for you. It's different than Vampire Survivors, um, but it, it just brings a lot of fun to the whole thing. I literally only have a little bit more time to last. Time's ticking away at the top there. Here's a kill spree. You can't ask for more than that. Well, you can actually. Let's have some bombs. Let's have some bombs as well. Let's have some nuclear bombs dropping in here. Everything's going off. There's the bombs dropping over there. Everything's exploding. How, look how much. Look at this. It's crazy. Is there anything I want to swap? No, not at the moment. I'm going to go with no. Doubles the ammunition. No, that's that's fine. We're good. There's ones which actually add. You've got to pile them on. You've got to block them on and put more on. I'm not using any of those. And more military ones here. It's here. Boom. And we've made it. End of the day. You succeeded. Unlock the fourth rank for 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 um, a few of them there. That's really good, and you get a full look at the stats. If you like stats, you can see the stats. For instance, you know how much damage I did with with the assault rifle: one million one hundred and forty thousand and twenty-two. Um, you know, you can see the stats you've done with each of them, the amount of damage you've done with the the various weapons. You know, the 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 the, the, the damage that was was dealt out in the end. I mean, that minigun only had it for a brief length of time, and we've we've already dealt out. Nearly, um, you know, six hundred thousand points of damage. Whereas the assault rifle I had pretty much that the whole game, you know. So the whole thing, and you, you've you've done a million points. So you can see that the tank once getting up to the higher level is 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 a great looking character. And you got the damage here. Look as well with the LB button. There's loads of detail. If you love this kind of stuff, this is the kind of game you want to play. So yeah, you can see the characters ranking up as they went and joined the game as well. So they're all getting new levels and new points to spend on equipment. And, and and this is a game you definitely want to add. If you like this kind of... Um, or you like the, the Survivors-like game, the Vampire Survivors-like game, this is a game that you want. It's roguelike. Um, it doesn't take long. You can play for a bit. Um, or you can play for, for, for ages. I, I just find myself sitting playing it for a couple hours and just enjoying it. Because it's, it's challenging enough without being... Um, 
difficult to play. But anyway, I've been your host, Real Tonight Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.